Hello and welcome back to Ireland here in Victoria 2. And we are right in the middle of the most magical time of the year, or of the century, I suppose, the colonization rush for Africa. And as you can see, we've made a pretty good start. So let's continue. We certainly have the uh, the largest font in Africa, which is you know the real measure of success. Okay, we probably will not go to war against New Zealand. We are competing with France over this colony. So we may have to pull out of there. That's not a big deal. We're going to get this coastline here, so... That's the important thing. War between the North German Federation and the Netherlands. Are they going to lose more land? They already lost Gel Gelderland to Germany a while ago. Let's see what that's about. Yeah, conquest of Fri Friesland. Or Friesland? I don't actually know. Um, are they? No, we didn't ever sphere them, but I think we were working on it. No, maybe we weren't wor working on it. Oh well. Never mind. Uh, we can actually reduce the Ottomans down to one here, I think. Everything else is fine here. Yeah, no problems. We could maybe get some more spherelings at some point. But I think we're doing okay at the moment. Probably should spend some of this money we have. Maybe upgrade my ports. already upgrading them, or some of them. Oh yeah, I think I got to about over here. Yeah, there we go. Can upgrade those, and I suppose we can manually upgrade some factories. Uh, yeah, that'll do for the moment. We can fund all these projects. Money isn't doing us any good if it's just sitting there. Demonstration turns sour. Screams can be heard from a workplace in one of our states. Where socialist agitators have turned an ongoing labor conflict from bad to worse. So all poor strata in Munster can become more socialist and gain consciousness. Where the rich strata become more reactionary and gain consciousness. Um... I don't think I mind if they become socialist, no. Well, we don't really want to be pacifists. Hmm. Uh, we'll just do the rich strata. There's hardly any of them, anyway. That probably doesn't have a big effect. Let's go to speed four. Okay, and we were working on some of these early military techs. Uh, it's probably what we'll continue to do. Unless we got Expressionism. Some of these could be good. All of these mining and farming output would really help us now that we are grabbing all this land in Africa and we'll, we have a lot more resources coming in. Hmm. I think I'm going to get Expressionism, though, first. If we get a couple of those plus 20s, that could be really helpful. Might get us up past number 5, which is where we've been stuck for a while. How long is left in these? Ninth. Okay. Factory output tech is nice. Suffragettes, okay. Um, I'm sure we'll have them become more conservative. Seems fine. Um, I assume we had our 
our naval bases up here all upgraded to the most we can do at the moment, yeah. Just checking. Literacy up over 60%, and increasing by almost 0.1 per month. Pretty good state there. Fears of Algeria. The weather. Probabilities for the next week. Cloudy and rainy. Good to know. Uh, accepted peace from Spain. So they took Friesland and Portuguese Bombay. Mm -hmm. So have they completely pushed the Netherlands out? No, they still have, I guess, one province here. Having a bad time of it, though. They still have their... East Indian possessions, though. So we are losing the race to France here. Uh, why did we just get a whole lot more colonial power? Did we lose another race somewhere? I don't know where we were competing anywhere else. Well, since we have it, we may as well compete with them a little longer there. And also, start some more colonies, why not? Just one more, I suppose. Um, Portugal, still not a secondary power, so we don't have to worry about them colonizing, but France are down here. So... Try and cut them off, if at all possible. Let's go here. At least maybe make it so we get this coastal area here. We can hope. And we can create lots of colonies. Oh, and we have a protectorate. Great. And our font got bigger. Always nice. Uh, diplomatic tension in West Macedonia. Okay. The Ottomans want us to be involved. Uh, yeah, I, I think I'm going to decline that. Sorry, Ottomans. Okay, France is backing the Ottomans. Also, Sokoto fears our might. As well they should, I suppose. I would not be surprised if we annex them at some point. Yeah, we're interested in the crisis. 47 prestige, wow. Okay, and Russia is back in Greece. Let's see how this goes. UK is supporting France, or inclined to support France. Germany's undecided. Austria wants to support France. Italy wants to support France. It looks like most people want to support France here. Okay, one prestige. And we have protectorates ready. Which is nice, even if it didn't increase our font size. Let's see then. So I think if we grab here, that's probably the best place to go next. We can actually get one more. Go there. 
think some of these provinces in here are pretty good. Tropical wood and 47k pop. It's pretty nice. 70k. Yeah, those are gonna be good. Assuming we don't get competed out of them by France. Netherlands increasing their reputation with us. Probably want us to save them from Germany. I think we'll just hop in on France's side here, because that's what's looking like the, the winning horse in this race. Eh, lazy natives, sure. Yeah, I think if Germany gets in here, then it's all over, basically. Protectorate in South Cameroon. Excellent. Oh, that was not exactly what I meant to do, but that's okay, I suppose. We can not create a protectorate here? Oh, because I used the colonial power to accidentally create that colony. That's unfortunate. Um, I think in that case it probably is best to just withdraw from here right now. Then we can create that colony. Or protectorate, rather. Okay, and this is not really necessary to get now. Actually, it's fine, I think. We can grab some of this land before France gets there. Sure. It's not the end of the world. Hopefully they don't start competing with us here now. No, they're heading down, it looks like. By that I mean south, of course. Ah, uh, they're getting across here. Which I wish they weren't. Upper house becoming more reactionary. We're in quite peace in the crisis. Fears of Greece. Like these competitions are going uh, pretty, pretty high up there, which is good for us. France and the UK all using up their colonial power. Means they can't grab this land as fast. So it looks like we might get blocked off around here. And France grab this. We can't compete. Can build more military units though, so let's do that. All in Africa, of course. Well, not all in Africa. Let's build two infantry there. I think we, uh, we're building infantry before in Africa, so we'll... Let's get some engineers. And another cannon. The only rally point we have is up here. So let's set another one down here. So our African troops don't have to always walk all the way across the continent. Invest in more railroads, sure. No more factories in dire need of expansion just yet. Naval base is getting completed, though, it sounds like, so we could build a few more ironclads. Sure, six more. Might be a bit too late to help us with the colonization point thing, but still, they'll be useful in case we ever get involved in a naval war. Crisis averted. Horrific puppets! 
Ghastly puppets have become a generally accepted part of daily life. The latest terrifying abomination to make his present felt is a smiling wooden boy with a fixed grin styled Bimbo. My god. That is horrific. Okay. Crisis is already over. Okay, we can have a protectorate here in Congo. Nice. So hopefully we've isolated, isolated this from France being able to get it. Not amazing land. There's some iron in there though, which is nice. Sequence planning. Mm -hmm. and our name has just moved, I guess, instead of getting bigger. That's okay. Our army is getting built. Where are they all appearing? I suppose those were just the ones in Ireland. And protectorates are ready again. Nice. Okay, so... Uh, if we go here, we can hopefully secure this land for ourselves. Go there. Seems like they have um, probably blocked us off from going down here, but it depends. It seems like there's still an avenue, so depending on where they go after getting this one, like we could, we still can't compete with them because we just spent our colonial power, but probably wouldn't have been worth doing anyway. Okay. Um. Sure, let's get organization. Rebels in Sweden. Oh, in Gotland. You can deal with that Sweden, right? Yeah, they can deal with it. Well done, Sweden. I knew you had it in you. A protectorate here in North Cameroon. Great. Mm -hmm. So I can try to grab this last coastal province here. Uh, which maybe I will do. It's got coal. And very high pops. Okay, that's pretty good. Hopefully we should get that before France competes with us. The Orangian Fear. Okay. Flu Pandemic. Okay, we can spend 7k, a tiny dent in our huge treasury, or we can not spend 7k and get the negative effects for longer. We'll spend the 7k, of course. Um, maybe look at reducing the tax on the poor a little bit, since we have such a huge surplus and some of them are not getting their needs, same with the middle class. Um, I'm not sure if increasing this has any effect since our administrative efficiency is already, already at 100%. I suppose it has an effect on crime fighting, so yeah, maybe we'll put that up since we can afford it. Uh, Bavaria increasing their relations with us for some reason. Okay. Well, uh, that will do it for this episode. I think we made some pretty good progress. Thanks for watching, and join me next time.